this is a movement that we need because we can't solve all the other problems, climate change, poverty, other issues, unless people can talk together. It comes, it's that simple. We have to work together. We have to generate the best ideas. We have to bring the best minds together. And we have to have people who can cooperate. And we can't let petty differences and ideological differences prevent people from coming together and solving these problems. You know, on the one hand, it can be a really challenging time. Washington doesn't seem to work. There's gridlock. Our institutions feel dysfunctional. But I'm excited because underneath all that, there's actually a movement coming together. There are people working at the local level, at the state level, in the living room level to construct positive dialogues with people who have very different views from them. And this movement is about harnessing the best of that in order to improve our country. Well, the timing is impeccable. We know that the American public, American citizens are absolutely frustrated by the lack of forward advancement that's happening through our political system. It's broken. The transpartisan movement is exciting because there are all these different organizations offering great ways for people to start working with each other and listening to each other and finding ways to change the dynamics that we're currently suffering with, honestly. Once we start working together, we find we like it. And then we do more. And I'm looking for a snowball effect here. We've had democracy for only 238 years. It's an experiment. And the founders did the best they could to set out the parameters for a fully functioning democracy. But they had no idea about the impact of the media or the impact of money on politics or what it would take to engage Americans, multi-millions, 320 million Americans in a process that is fair and just. That is the challenge of our generation. We're not creating a movement. We have discovered a movement. We've discovered all these people are all around the nation who are passionate about changing the way politics works. What we're doing is we're empowering these people so they can actually do that. Well, I think that we have in this country a large number of people who actually uh, are part of this movement, but they just don't know it. And so what we have been able to do is assemble people who've been working very hard in that space to try to basically take this concept of country over party and the ability to really sort of sit down and get people in all walks of life throughout this country to start talking about issues that concern them and get them away from the hyper-partisanship that has polluted the political uh, discussion in this country for the last few years. What excites me is that for a lifetime, it seems, I have felt like I don't have a political home, that the objectives of the progressive movement that I share, uh, a sense of community and connection uh, and, a, and, a, and a determination for justice, and the methods of the right which I share, a focus on fiscal responsibility, fiscal conservatism, individual discipline and personal responsibility, that I feel those things are intricately connected. They are dependent on one another. And I wanna bring those together. And that's what's exciting to me about the transpartisan movement. Finally, a movement that has both halves of reality. I came across this movement, the transpartisan movement, and I'm very excited about it because I think we can mobilize all these organizations and bring them together and build upon what each of these individual groups have done to collectively become a force in our society, both in terms of politics and both in terms of uh, just generally how citizens within this country dialogue and get along with each other. I bring to the table a lot of the frustration that people feel around the country, which is the political parties have left me. I don't feel crazy, but I have no political home. And I have experiences in both parties that lead me to believe that there's got to be something better. I've learned from Move On and Moms Rising that citizens are smart, they're caring, and that when you engage them, big things can happen really substantial changes. So we're working to create processes that empower citizens to take control and use that good common sense they have to make the kind of changes that they want to see in this country. 
Well, what I've been able to do is, with the help of lots and lots of other people, I've been able to build up a pretty strong network of a couple thousand organizations and individuals who are leaders in public engagement work. They're all across the country. They're impressive. They are extraordinary people. And what I'm able to do is hopefully be able to mobilize them as part of the transpartisan movement. Part of what I offer and what I do is really to grow and build the capacity of the organization to create an infectious um, atmosphere among supporters and funders who, uh, who want this to happen, who believe that it's time uh, to bring everyone together for the last 40 years, I've been producing major events around the world, tying people together, using technology to um, create more connectiveness between people and cultural elements to try to uh, transcend boundaries. And uh, we've had a chance to produce events that literally have brought millions and millions of people together. And uh, so I want to apply that expertise and that network of producers and technical people to this project so that we can create an event that will not just be a showcase for television in some convention hall with people wearing straw hats and waving flags, but an event that will really show America coming together with multiple layers of participation from satellite cities to hubs, from churches and community centers all around the country, and then from people in front of their computers who can watch and can participate in a variety of ways. So there's millions of people watching this event, participating, and seeing that there is another way. There is a way for us to solve our problems. And if we all come together, we can be a part of something that can change history.